Welcome back. The state of Texas facing that $27 billion shortfall. Texas Comptroller Susan Combs made that announcement about two hours ago. Here's how it breaks down. Texas needs an estimated $99 billion next year to cover everything from education to health and human services. And there's only $72 billion available. That leaves a $26.8 billion shortfall. So that means more deep cuts are on the way. This is all still up in the air, though. Lawmakers will have to work through these numbers in the session. It starts tomorrow. Democrats say that $26.8 billion sounds about right, while Republicans will tell you they believe the shortfall will actually be somewhere between 11 and $15 billion. That could, of course, come with major agency cuts and other spending cuts. Reflecting on what could be ahead, the comptroller gave this warning today. I'm simply saying that I would expect that when the Legislative Budget Board issues a budget the next one to two weeks, uh, that they will be very restrained and very moderate. Keep in mind that shortfall number is just a projection. It could change based on what lawmakers do in the coming weeks. It is sure to be a tough session when it comes to the budget.